What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Moderately Interesting Podcast, episode number eight. We are back uh, for another episode. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, we are. Um, my name is Jeffrey. I'm Angelia. And we're engaged, and today we're doing a topic on our dogs. You know, figure something a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more fun. Um, so we're just going to be talking about our dogs, kind of like, like who our dogs are, why do we have them, why do we get them, what their breed is, and kind of like, just a little bit more about our dogs. Since you guys hear them, like, every podcast making noise. Yeah. Um, so, I guess the first thing is, though, what's our dogs' names? So their names are Gareth and Legion. Um, they're named after Mass Effect characters. Uh... I'm sure we'll have, like, footage of them in here at some point, but... Yeah. Legion is red. Garrus is gray. They're huskies. Mm -hmm. Um, They're... They just turned... Three. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they just turned three. In March. The middle of March. Yes. So, like, a couple weeks... Like, two weeks ago. Yeah. And they are... Mm -hmm. They are actually, like, litter... Litter mates? Yeah. Yeah, they're litter mates. They're litter mates and they're brothers. Um... Yes, I don't know. So when do we okay? So we got Garris first. Yeah. Now we got Garris when he was like eight weeks old. Yes. Which actually, yeah, I should have the footage. I'm gonna put that in here now. Of it should be somewhere. It'll just be floating around. But like the day we went to go pick, I Garris don't even up, remember the actual date. Yeah, I, I feel don't, like I should, but I don't. Uh, so they were born March 16, mm-hmm. 2017. Yeah. Um. We we got Garrus like as soon as he was able to go to a, like a home safely like weaned off of his mom yeah, um, which was what like eight or nine weeks or something yeah. like that I think it was nine they were nine weeks old so whenever nine weeks is after March yeah and I remember like that May. was yeah like late May yeah I remember when we went to go get Garrus like we were so excited we I know were, we drove like an hour yeah. Uh-huh. Um, just, uh, some people that, and I know we're probably going to get hate for it, but just some people we found yeah, on right. Facebook who's, um, like pets, they weren't breeders or anything. Like their pets had a litter. Um, they usually kept them separated, but you know, things happen and they had a litter. They've since like been fixed. So I don't want to hear about it. Like we didn't shop, but we didn't adopt either. Right. Like, we just found like normal people who's. Who had an unexpected uh, litter, mm. and um, so we got Garrus. Yeah, and we brought him home when he was teeny tiny. Yeah, I know he was so so small. Yeah, so before we even got him, though, we like I've I've always wanted a a husky. Yeah. Um. Me I mean, too. Yeah, like I know, like we've we've, and we, this is like when we were like trying to figure out like if we wanted a dog, like what type of dog before we got Garrus. I know we were thinking husky, Australian Shepherd. Mm-hmm. What else were we thinking? And those were, like, the main two, I feel like. Yeah. That we were really thinking about getting. Because I've had dogs my whole life. My parents had a dog when I was, like, young. And then we got another dog when I was, like, seven or eight or Mm. nine, somewhere around there. Um, And that dog passed away just, like, a couple years ago, I want to say. Yeah, when we first started dating. Yeah. So I always, like... As much as I can remember, pretty much I've always had a dog. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> we didn't really have dogs. Like, we had, we had like, one dog when I was, like, a little kid. But we didn't really, like, have dogs. I've always been around dogs, though. Like, my, my cousin. Like, I've always, like, over there, like, they've had dogs. And I've always been around dogs. And I've always wanted dogs. But I've always, like, I've always had, I've always thought I was more of a cat person. And, but I've always had like smaller pets, like mm-hmm. rabbits, the ferrets. Um, had a whole bunch of guinea guinea pigs. I had had um, some hamsters. Actually, I had more guinea. Had more hamsters, and I had one guinea pig. Um, yeah, I had. We have a ferret now. I yeah. don't know if we've ever talked about that. We have one ferret. Yeah. His name's Sterling. Yes. He's white with a black nose and black eyes. He's yeah. He's albino, but he's completely white. He's yeah. really cute. Yeah. So like for me though, but I've always had, I've always had smaller pets, but I always wanted a dog. I wanted like 
like that true com- you know companionship of a dog right because like cats kind of fucking hate everyone yeah and like rabbits though they're great and all but they're not that inter- i mean they are but they're not the same level right ferrets are but you know i wanted something that was bigger like a dog mm-hmm. so like when the opportunity came up to get gares it was like this is the right time let's yeah. totally do it um, yeah, it all kind of fell into place. Like, I was just, like, casually looking, mm-hmm. um, like, for huskies, like, even, like, where to get a husky, trying to find a husky rescue, but there aren't really any around here. There's some in, like, New York City and stuff, but there's yeah. none in New York near us. Yeah. Um, none even really in pencil, like, that I could find, at least I'm sure they exist, but I couldn't find anything within, like, five hours of us. Yeah. So I just started looking on Facebook, like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe it's one of those situations where I can find a rescue and somebody will drive halfway and I can drive halfway and we can Mm. do the whole thing. But, like, we just saw the post, um, with Garrison Legion and we decided to go with that. Like, it just kind of happened. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know it just kind of like everything kind of like fell into place, like yeah. legitimately, mm-hmm. like it was like the right timing, and it just everything kind of fell into place. Um, but before we did get Garrus, though, I know like we did like because like even like before when I was looking up huskies, like I've been doing research on like huskies for like <laughs> over like a year before we even got Garrus. Like yeah. I'm just like looking up different dog breeds and like what they need and like stuff like that. Um, so it wasn't like it was just like you know like on a on a whim or like oh let's just get a dog like we were like thinking about it even like beforehand yeah. and then like just kind of like preparing ourselves like what type of dog do we think that we can like take care of the best and like what's their long term like health problems and stuff like that and the one dog I had most of my life we think he was a mutt he because he was a rescue but we think he was at least part husky mm-hmm. so like. All the traits, they say, like, oh, do your research before you get a husky. They're hard to handle. They're, like, they chew up everything. They're escape artists. They're very high strung. Like, our dogs, first off, are the complete opposite. Yeah. I, I mean, they, they, uh, Legion is definitely an escape artist, but yeah. I wouldn't say they're high strung or misbehaved or anything. No. Um, I think they're more goofy. Yeah, they are very goofy. Which actually, like, inside, like, the Facebook forums uh, or the Facebook groups, like, a lot of people, when they post their huskies, they always show them being very goofy. Mm-hmm. And that's why I definitely feel like our dogs are like that. Yeah, like, talking back and stuff. Yeah. Like a little howl or, like, yeah. Yeah. throwing fits. Yeah. Yeah. Or like just pretending they they don't hear you calling them. Um, <laughs> I know. But yeah, so we got Garris. He was a little pup. Um, we live in an apartment, but we do have like a backyard and a garage. Mm-hmm. So we we do have like a yard and stuff. Yeah, where um, they can like go out and like play. And... Yeah, it's a pretty big yard. Yeah, that's say. that's actually fenced in. Um, cause yeah, that actually... was, yeah, that was the other thing. Cause we did try. I forgot. We did try to um, adopt a rescue first. Yes. Um. It was like a husky healer mix. Or no, that was no, that was before we got Legion. That was in between the yes. two. I'm messing it up. So we did, after we had Garris, uh, after he got a little older, we did try to um, adopt from a rescue, but it didn't really work out. Like the dogs just, they didn't not get along, but. She was too like Yeah, she scared. was real scared of um, Garris. Like, like Garris was just like, let's play. And she was just like, froze yeah, up the whole so, entire time. That didn't work out. Anyways, we'll get back to that later. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we got Garris, and we took him home. And, you know, like, the first night was a nightmare. Like, he pooped all over himself mm-hmm. and cried the whole night. But the whole night. But really, after that, it was it was fine. He, like, woke up, and he's like, oh, okay, this is my home. Yeah. Like, Garris was so, like... Easy to train, honestly. Yeah. Like even like potty, like uh, potty training and like everything else. He was very like, he kind of just got it. Like yeah. immediately, like almost almost immediately. I remember like we took him outside and he just like okay, this is where I pee and just do it. Yeah. And like every I time, I mean, there were little accidents. Well, right. He did chew on stuff a little bit when yes. he was a teething puppy, but yeah. no more than any other puppy would. I don't think yeah. any of like the negative husky stereotypes kind of came through with him at all. Yeah. Um, and he. Yeah, honestly, I'm trying to think, like, he was, for the most part, good. Like, yeah, he did cry at first, Yeah. but just, like, any, like, A puppy that's used to being around, like, seven other puppies, and then they're around no puppies. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I mean, he was a little bit, I feel feel like when we first got him, he was a little bit, like, skittish at first. Like, he just didn't know. He didn't quite know what what was going on. But he was also, like, a little puppy with a little puppy belly. Yeah. 
And he probably had worms because all pup like all puppies have worms. Yeah. Um, but I know, but like, looking back now, I'm just like, yeah, that was just Garish just being Garish. Yeah. That, that's like legit. Like both just, of our dogs have very strong personalities. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, that was just Garish. He was just being him himself, like very just like, meh. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I really want to do this, like playing or just like. But yeah, he truly like once you, once you like, I guess kind of start playing with him more and then he'll start playing with you but it takes him a minute he's just like i don't know do i really want to do this right now yeah he's very very sassy yeah he's um, very, very sassy. he <laughs> like so we were talking about this the other day garris will he's totally he's a very affectionate dog he's down to cuddle but like you have to go to him to cuddle yeah where legion is like he'll come over to you sit on your feet jump literally on your lap like he always wants to be next to someone. He loves to be held. And Garris is very much like, I'm here. I love you. But, like, I'm not making an effort. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, we had Garris first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we had him for a while. I don't remember. I think maybe he was 10 months old when we got Yeah, it was Legion. almost, yeah. It was, like, he was almost a year old. Yeah. But they weren't yet. Yes. So, after Garris got a little older, we realized, like, wow, like, as much as he loves us and he had fun with us and we could play with him. Like we wanted to get another dog. So he wasn't alone. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we did try to adopt from a rescue. It didn't work out. We did the meet and greet with the dogs and it didn't really seem like they were, you know, they didn't just hit it off like some dogs do. So we were like, eh, like we'll wait, you know, like we did want another Husky and that Mm -hmm. was a mix. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, we have like, you want to rescue a certain kind of dog. I mean, obviously you can't pick, but you know, it all worked out because (laughs) yes um so the people we got garris from um we kind of kept in contact like our dog has an instagram (laughs) yeah and um so they would they saw like all our instagram posts all the time how excited we were to have a dog how how much like we enjoyed doing stuff with him and you know like playing in the snow with him and stuff because it was starting to get cold by then yeah um yeah because i remember when we went to go get legion there was tons of snow Oh, yeah. yeah. I was at work. Um, and, you know, she messaged me and she was like, hey, you know, like some things happened. Um, we ended up getting one of the, the dogs from the litter back. And I was I just wanted to ask you before I asked anybody else, are you guys looking to bring another dog into your home? Because we see what great care you take of Garris. And I just wanted to reach out. And I was like, that's insane. Like, we've been trying to find a second dog and like everything just wouldn't you know everything just wouldn't line up with like a second dog so we still didn't have one yeah so i just immediately was like sure can i come now because she lives about an hour away from Mm. us you're like yes and i was like yeah i'll come right now is that okay (laughs) (laughs) because i was actually helping my friend Mm. she was getting her windshield of her car replaced oh oh god she was getting the window of her car replaced or the windshield and um i was like do you care if we just go you know, like, on an hour drive and pick up a dog, like... No, I know. <laughs> I'll go get Garrett, so I'll bring them over, bring him over there, make sure, like, they still get along, and then, yeah. like, that's that. I, like, I'm down, like, 100% with no hesitation. I was just like, yes. Like, it just felt right. Um, So we drove there. We went to go get him. Um, at this point, you know, like Garris, like obviously we take our, our, our pets to the vet. Um, so he was already like neutered and Mm -hmm. had all his shots and everything. And that dog, um, that ended up being Legion, Mm -hmm. he had a different name. Um, Sam. Yeah. His name was Sam. He, uh, wasn't neutered yet or anything. Um, did he, did he have shots? Yeah. Okay. So I was a little worried about that. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. because he wasn't neutered. I didn't want like him to come in and be the dominant one. Like I didn't want Garris to feel like we were getting another dog and then he wasn't going to be the alpha, mm-hmm. um, which he ended up being the alpha. So everything worked out Little but we know. <laughs> at first cause they were wrestling and stuff. You could tell they recognized each other, which was really, really cute. Um, they're wrestling and stuff. And I was like, well, okay. Like they're playing. They're not like growling. They're not like, yeah. You know, it, wasn't, like, it wasn't like they weren't like they weren't aggressive fighting. at all. Yeah. They were just like wrestling, were like like puppies wrestle. Yeah. Um. So I was like, yeah, like I'm down. I hope it works out. Like I'll be in contact if it doesn't. Um. And we took him. I took him home because Jeff was at work, 
and um, my friend who's uh, just to keep them calm, kind of on a our ra- or back to our house. Mm-hmm. My friend that I was with took Legion, and I took Garrus, um, just so they weren't like f- fighting, getting to know each other in oh, the in, in the cars. car. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, we went in different cars just so there wouldn't be any problems, oh. or because you know that's a lot of stimulation for. Yeah, they're just like, oh my god. So we came back here, and I took a picture of Legion, and I sent it to Jeff, and I said, <laughs> he said, whose dog is that? And I said, yours. <laughs> I was like, what? And he was like, what? But <laughs> then he came home. Um, I was like, there's another dog here. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? So what did you think? Like, what? Uh, I was a little bit in shock. Then when I got home, I was just like. This is a lot of dogs. This is another, there's a whole other dog in here. Um, yeah, because I think we expected to get, like, a puppy. Yeah. Not, like, a whole yeah. full-grown dog. Because at this point, um, like, okay, so, Garrus is 65 pounds. Legion is, like, 55 pounds. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Which, at didn't this you say point, that the people, when they saw Garrus, they were, like, surprised how big he was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Garrus, actually, they told us he was the runt of his litter. Mm-hmm. Um, but Legion is, like, about 10 pounds uh, less and, like, a lot shorter. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that actually, I totally skipped over like the worst part of the story, but, um, I guess they got Legion back because he was oh, yeah. abused. Uh, so we did, it all really worked out cause we really wanted to rescue. We did rescue. Um, and we really wanted, you know, like a hu- another Husky. We got another Husky and on top of that, they were litter mates. So everything yeah. really worked out perfectly. Like we were able to rescue a dog that needed a home. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like, I felt like we kind of owed it to Garrus. Like, that's that was his litter mate. Like, mm-hmm. we should at least try. Yeah. Especially because we were looking for another dog anyways. Yeah. If we can, you know, get one that was related to him, why not? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. And then also, because when we, when we picked up Garrus, like, Legion was, like, when we first got Garrus. Yeah. Like, Legion, Legion was, was the only other little pup left. And he was, I remember looking at him and I was like, oh, my God, he's so cute. Yeah. Little did we know we were going to get him later on. Like, yeah. when we first got Garrus, he was a little puppy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was that was crazy. Like, when we got into when we got Legion, um, yeah, like, as soon as I, like, seen him, he was very, like, attached. Yeah. Like, he was just, like, just so happy to have people pet him and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, he was just like, oh, my God, like, people it, are petting there, us. He has a lot of residual behaviors you could, that you can tell he was mm-hmm. abused. Like, he, um, both of our dogs are crate trained. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, like, and I'm not saying Legion doesn't like his crate. Like, he will literally wait at the door to go into his crate. Like, yeah, he does. 25% <laughs> of the day. He just sits there like, But going. um, if we, like, sleep in more than he's used to, he'll start to cry. Yeah. Because I, I'm pretty sure what happened is the people who had him just kept him in a cage. Like, wouldn't let him out. Just, like, threw food into the cage I don't know what they did for water. Um, like, I don't really know much of what happened. I didn't ask. I was just happy to get him out of there. Mm. And I, I don't know the people personally that, like... Um, Who had him? Yeah, that had him first. Like, I didn't really ask many questions from the girl. I was like, you know what? Yes, like, this is just so, working. This, yeah. this is, like, exactly what we needed, what we wanted. Like, yeah. I'm not going to... All I can do is try to, like, we can do is try to fix the damage that was done. So I don't need to, a play-by-play. So I personally don't really know many of the details. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, like, you can definitely tell, like, he, uh, he, more than Garrus, I'd say, when he has done something bad, he definitely, like, gets scared if yeah. you walk towards him too fast and stuff. Like, <laughs> he, he is still kind of more of a scared dog. What else does he do? Um, like, oh yeah, he cried at first. Um, and then like, yeah, he, like, you, you can tell that he, like, he didn't know boundaries, like, as far as, Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, we, we had, like, the, the baby gate and, like, certain, so it's, like, keep them sectioned off of certain parts of the house. Yeah. Garris, and, to, and granted, like, Garrus was way too big for the baby gate. He just... Garrus knew, like, knew oh, I don't... to not go over the baby yeah. gate. And as soon as we brought Legion home, he just, like, jumped over the baby gate. And we were like, oh. I know. We were just like, we were just like oh, <laughs> yeah. Garrus, I mean, Legion could just jump over this. I think Garrus was shocked. Garrus was just He's looking, like, like, wait, that's you, allowed? Like, you could do that? <laughs> yeah. Um, he, he would also, like, try to jump up on counters and stuff. You could tell he'd been given a lot of people food. Yes. Um, Which he's still, like, he's still very, like... Yeah. 
I mean, he wants people food. Yeah, and I think Legion has kind of taught Garrus like, "Hey, we can eat that." <laughs> I know Garrus, because Garrus used to not Garrus, even look at people food. Now he looks at it. He doesn't really beg or anything. No, but um, and neither does Legion. He'll just like look at you. Yeah, he or, doesn't like paw at you and stuff like yeah, some I know. dogs do. But um, he'll like look at the floor. Like Legion yeah, he'll he'll like he'll just stare, stare at the, the floor, floor to see if anything <laughs> drops. And just like no. Because um, he'll you'll you'll be like right next to him doing something, and he'll just be like this, just staring at the floor. It's really like, funny. I know. But um, yeah, he would try to like jump up on counters. He would try to drink out of the sink. Yeah, especially like at first. Yeah, like he um, would try to do that a lot. Um, he would try to like get into stuff. Oh yeah, into the the bathroom. Yeah, and like and like and eat <laughs> eat towels and yes. stuff. Like he he was. A weird dude. I mean, he still is kind of a weird dude, yeah. but, he's, but he's, like, a lot better yeah, now. Yeah, he's a lot better now. It was just, like, at first, I think, because I don't know if he was really, like, house trained, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He definitely wasn't really, like, potty trained. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was right. He yeah, peed he, in his he cage. Yeah, he would pee and poop in his cage. That's why I really think yeah, what happened really is they just his... left him in his cage. Yeah. Because it's not normal for a dog to pee in the pee yeah, where, where they, they sleep. sleep. Yeah. So. Yeah, so he peed. Yeah, he peed and he would poop. Um, yeah, yeah. It just took him a minute to like understand what was going on. It took like a while. Yeah, and it seemed like every time we left the room or every time, so we really had to. Um, I have never it. tried to work so hard to train a dog. We had to leave for like f- starting like a couple minutes at a time in his mm-hmm. cage with him in his cage, and then come back and be like, "Look, you're you're gonna be let out of the cage." Like I have never gone to those lengths. They'll be like, "Oh well, they'll cry for a couple minutes and then they'll like you know fall asleep," like Garrus did. But no, Legion would howl and howl and howl if we put him in his cage. He's he's fine now. He just yeah gets a little bitchy if we sleep late. But yeah, um, like even like today, like when I was working, I just I put them in 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 their their cage for a couple hours just so like they weren't like jumping all, all around. And like yeah, he's totally fine. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, like, now he's, like, totally fine. Yeah, because huskies are kind of, like, den animals. Like, they want to have their own den, so we, like, leave their cages open, and sometimes yeah. they just go in there. Yeah, like, Garrus will, like, just walk. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> Garrus will just stay in his... <laughs> yeah, he's like, mm, don't feel like it. I know, just like... And they're, like, on. really big cages. Like, they have yeah. more than enough room. I know there's some schools of thought that, like, the cages should only be big enough, just big enough, because if they have too much room, they're going to pee and poop in there, but... Like, because they're huskies, they are more of a den animal. And they, yeah. so they have, like, cages that are bigger than they need to be so they can have, like, a den. Yeah, they're, like, huge. And, like, one for each of them, obviously. Yeah, they don't have the same cage. Uh-huh. Um, but, yeah, it was really rough. Like, yeah. getting Legion used to a cage as, like, a safe place was really, really, really difficult. Yeah. And then... But now it's his favorite place in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think though, for because we trained them to like they get fed in their in their cage. Like that was the other thing. Like we wanted to like make sure that they both were eating, you know, their own food, like the proper amount yeah. of food. So we like started feeding them in their cage, right? Um, and that also helped Legion a lot yeah, too, to, like with positive reinforcement. To be with like, his cage. Oh, okay, cool. And that's probably the reason why Legion. Is <laughs> I know, always, he just waits he's, there. Like, he's always just are like, you I'm going in the gonna cage. feed me? I'm going in the cage. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like, yeah, we got the neuter, we got uh, Legion neuter. That was yeah, that was rough. He also had a, a detached dew claw, so we yeah. got that removed because, um, the the way I learned it was if it's attached, it's okay. But if it's um, which means if there's a bone in it leading to the nail, mm-hmm. that's okay. But if it's just like a flab of skin with a nail, then that like it could get ripped and bleed a lot and mm. like it's not really you know yeah. what i mean like it's not really something that's supposed to be left there because it's more of like a hazard than like useful for the dog so yeah. we got his one he and he only had one yeah um so we, we got that removed it was on one of his back feet when we got him neutered we got that done um and of course like we got all of his other shots and, and vaccines and kennel cough and all that stuff since you yeah. know like we don't we don't board them because we don't go anywhere. But if we did, like I would rather be prepared. Right. Um, uh, than not be prepared. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I remember. Yeah. So we. But that was rough. Like we had to have like a keep them separated a, from a them. cut open IV bag on his foot because it was <laughs> winter. So I was the to make it was sure like the bandage yeah. and then like an IV bag and then like it was tied. Yeah. Then he had a cone on his head because oh he got God. neutered and it was just like it was and a, he and very then, much doesn't know like. 
how to dog even now. <laughs> yeah. But because he would just run into things <laughs> until he broke his cone in half. And I'm yeah. sure we have a picture somewhere, and if we do, we'll put it in here. But yeah. It's just a picture of him happy as hell, and his <laughs> his cone is destroyed. And that was literally maybe four hours after he got home. Yeah. So it, it was it was a lot because they were still trying to like play and like we had to try to keep like uh legion separate so to, to let him heal yeah and it was just a lot yeah but, like, and, those- and we neutered got him neutered about a week after we got him because yeah. again we were worried about that playing into like the alpha right thing so we were like you know what if we're gonna keep you let's just do it like i'm sure there are some people that would disagree with that because we didn't really get him used to us before we had him do this crazy traumatic surgery <laughs> but yeah I mean, but it's everyone does things differently, yeah. but yeah, choose what's best for you. Right. Um, but yeah, though, so like, that's how we got them. Um, it was a lot, though. Legion was a lot. Yeah. And I will say it is because even though like my family had rescued dogs before, like the dog we had, his name was Shadow. He never had any, like, negative behaviors. I don't... We got him when he was, like, four months old or something like that, which is, like, way... Right? I don't know. We got him when he was, like, young enough that, like, he hadn't developed bad behaviors Mm. from whatever was going on with him. Um, So, like, I will say that it was one of the most rewarding things to... Mm. Because even when we first got Legion, do you remember? He wouldn't, like, relax when he laid down. He would, like, back himself into a corner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, so he he would, like, back himself into a corner because he didn't want to relax. Like, he never exposed his stomach at all. And those are all, like, you know, dog behaviors when they're not comfortable. And now just to see him, like, sprawled out in the middle of the floor is just, like, the most rewarding thing. Like, he knows that we're not going to hurt him. And, like, I've never experienced, like, training that out of a dog. So it was very, like, rewarding. Yeah. And, like, now him and Garris, they both, like, they, like, mi- uh, mirror each other and like, they're, like, behaviors. Like, they just, like, lay out. Like, they, like, literally, like, if Legion's laying this way, Garris laying this way, they're, like, facing each other. They just... I know. They, like, hold paws. Yeah. Or, like, one will put their arm around the other while yeah. they're laying on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're very cute. They're super close. Yeah. They're, but, but I think it's really nice because a lot of people are like, oh, you fucked up. You got litter mates. Like, they're going to ignore you. And play with each other and only love each other. But I don't think so. No. Not at all. I think Legion... Legion's very, like... I think very Legion's attached... Yeah. I think Legion's attached to me. Because like, yeah. he, was, he was following me around. Um, I think Garrus is attached to me. Probably. Even though I feel like, like when, when we first got Garrus... Like, mm-hmm. I spent so much time with him because I was home. I feel like we got really close. But then, I don't know. I still think... I don't know. Garris is, Garris I mean, is to be funny. fair, I think we're both very close. Well, to right. Them, we're obviously very close. I feel like if we were like, come here to both of them, Gar- Legion would go to you and Garris would come to me. Yeah, probably. Um, you know what I mean? If we were on the like, opposite sides of the room, we should test it out. I know we should. <laughs> uh, but yeah, though, so as far as this, so that's how we got them. Now, as far as their like playtime and regiment, usually like they like go outside, we play with them outside in the backyard. And, like, the one thing I will say, they do like to dig. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, that's, like, something we've, like, given up on trying to train out of them. Like, yeah. they just will. As soon as you turn your back, they'll, they're they going to dig. Yeah. I mean, that's that, that's in their um, yeah, they wanna, nature. Yeah, because, like, Huskies, I'm pretty sure, I have heard somewhere, I've never fact-checked it, but they do that because they want to, like, move all the snow and get into the earth. Because, like, if they were, like, out in wherever the frick yeah. pulling a sled or whatever, they would want to be into, like, dirt and not snow. Yeah. Because um, they do do that. They'll lay on top of what they dig. Yeah. I don't know if that's them hiding it. <laughs> because be they are that smart. Yeah. Or if that's them, like, some instinctual thing. Like, for instance, how long ago was that when when Garris got the glue trap stuck to him? Like in like November or something like that? So we were having a mouse problem in our house. We found where they were coming in. They they chewed a little hole. Mm. So we don't have mice anymore. But I put a glue trap like way behind my desk in the other room. Mm. And somehow, Garris isn't even big enough to get back there. But somehow, 
he got it stuck right to his chest. Yeah. Like, you know, those those mice glue traps that like, and whatever, yes, I know they're cruel. I'm sorry. Okay. Whatever. Um, but. I mean, they're not that cruel. I know. I just don't want to see its little nasty br- Never mind. Right. Um, <laughs> um, so he got it stuck to him and he kept laying in certain ways. So I didn't even see it for after I was, until yeah, I was, was home like- for like. 35 minutes because he would lay like this Mm -hmm. or he would like go like this with his arms Mm -hmm. like this and i was like what are you doing yeah there's like and i pulled up his arm and i was like are you serious yeah (laughs) like we have the hairiest dog breed ever in the world and of course you found a glue trap yeah Um, so like they are smart enough to do stuff like that like hide stuff and yeah for sure they're incredibly incredibly smart dogs yeah like even like training them like to you know so easy like yeah like sit you know wait and stuff like that like Mm -hmm. they were extremely easy to to train and like even legion afterwards like when we got him he picked up on like everything too like very well yeah um yeah, and honestly, I feel like Legion is, like, easier to, like, if we're in the backyard and I'm like, okay, cool, it's time to go in. Legion is, like, much more eager to, like, Please. come. Yeah, like, he's like, okay, okay, cool, it's time for us to, to like, go in. Like, he'll just come over to me. Garrus is so, still more like, eh, do I want to, you know? The way I see it is, like, because Garrus was with us when it was just us, mm-hmm. I think he thinks he's, like, another person. Yeah. And Legion knows he's a dog. Yeah. And I also think that Garrus thinks Legion is his dog. Yeah. Like, we got him a pet. Yeah, she thinks that's his his pet. <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't fight. They, he, there's no, like, bad, like, abusive behavior or anything. No. But, um, yeah. He's, def- Gar- <laughs> he's definitely like, oh, like, I'm the big brother. Yeah. Like, like I'm, you're going to do what I want you to do. Yeah. But, like, not like, I'm going to beat you up, but. <laughs> he just yeah he'll be like oh i'm gonna eat this first or like i'm yeah. gonna take this and you're not gonna or i'm gonna growl at you yeah that husky I mean, growl where they just like make sounds yeah oh that's the other thing though so for our dogs though like the howling thing um yeah it's like i feel like it's not the classic like howl like you would like you would, head back doing yeah like thing. Just yeah no they howl. don't do yeah, that they don't they don't well at least ours don't I mean, Legion's gotten kind of close a couple times. Yeah, but it's, it's not like how like some people show. And like we've even tried to like play like a like a wolf or like a like husky a, howling yeah, exactly. and see if they would respond to it. They, they don't. don't. They don't. They just look like. Mm, um, but like they do talk. They do. Yes, that they're husky very like talking yeah, all the time. Or, yeah, like type of thing. Garris talks a lot. Yeah, he talks when he wants water. He talks yep. when he wants food. He talks when he wants to go outside. He talks when he's mad at you. He talks when he's happy. He's very sassy. He talks when you tell him to talk. Yeah, I know. You like care. You like, <laughs> and then Legion. Um, he just he learned it. Yeah. Because he didn't use to. He would just bark. Like yeah. scream bark. Yeah. He did not do like the husky talking howl thing. But I think he learned that from Garrus. Because now like when he's really excited. Mm-hmm. Or you know when he's upset in the morning. or Yeah or if I'm like working at, at, at the computer. He was like, look at me, and he, he started doing that thing where he just kind of like starts talking to me, like when he wants attention. Yeah. Which Garrus would do that, but now Legion's doing it too. Yeah. So it's like... But they are like complete opposites, I feel like. They're very similar, but they're also very opposite. Yeah. Like, um, Legion is, is like a people pleaser. Yeah. Very food motivated. Yeah. Um. He's, he's one of those dogs that, like, we have, like, a slow eat and a slow drink bowl because he will eat and drink until he's, like, 7,000 pounds. Yeah. So we definitely, like, feed them a very strict amount. We feed them in their own cages so they're not eating each other's food. Yeah. Um. And then Garrus is just, like, very, like, he's chill. Yeah. He's, he's tall. He's clumsy. <laughs> Garrus is so, like, tall. <laughs> he is. He's very tall. And then Legion is, like, very fast, very agile. And just, like, he has really, really big paws. Yeah. Legion has huge feet. And I think, uh, my theory, of course, I'm not, like, a dog breeder or, like, a vet or a scientist or whatever. But, like, my theory is that he was supposed to get bigger. Because we did actually get the cage that he came with. Mm -hmm. um, That he was stuck in, I think, when... um, 
when we went to go get them because they didn't they just took everything with them when they took them back yeah and they you know they didn't want to be like here here's a dog with nothing so they gave us the cage but the cage his back was already all the way up to it so i think legion was supposed to be bigger because again we said garris was the runt yeah but I think Legion was supposed to be bigger, but he was honestly stuck in the cage so Could long that it stunted his growth. Could you imagine if Legion was the same size as Garrus? No. Oh, my, I know. I just I, thought about that the first time. Like, wow, that would have been I mean, to be fair, they're only like 10 pounds apart. But wait, it's a big difference from like, what is it? How, 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 how heavy is Gar- uh, Garrus? 65? 65, yeah. Yeah, there's a big difference, like 65 and 55. You yeah. know what I mean? That's like, there's a big difference. Like, I can pick Legion up. I can't pick Garrus up. Really? I mean, I'm sure I could if I had to, but right. like, I can't comfortably pick him yeah. up. Like, I can pick Legion up. It's the other thing. Legion loves to be picked up and just carried. Yeah, he's like, a I was effing picking, baby. Yeah, like, I'm just, yeah, he, he wants me to just pick him up and just carry him. He, he'll just sit there and just be like, okay, cool. And then Garrus will do anything. Garrus like, like, oh, don't you? Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you just pet, start petting him, but like... <laughs> If you start touching him, like, on his chest or something, if he thinks you're going to pick him up, he's just like, no, 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 He no. just, like, starts, like, laying down. He's like, he's no, like, no, no. Nope. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, they're very different. Yeah. And the way they give affection is very different. Yeah. Like, Garrus is very cute. He'll give you, like, one little lick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he'll lay near you, but not on you, unless he's, like, in a mood. And yeah. Then, but Legion will jump, like, straight on top of you. Yep. And just lay he's just right like, on top of you. He doesn't care if he's like half off you, yeah. half off what you're like sitting on. Yeah. He also is one of those dogs that'll like come and sit at your feet whenever you're sitting. So he's like a very good dog. Yeah. We got very lucky. He's like very good. He just had a lot of like abuse hmm. to like heal from, I guess. Yeah. It took him just just a minute to kind of get used to like. But the it did take a while. It took almost like a year, I would say. Yeah, but it's like just training them in like positive reinforcements mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Um, but like, what would you say to anyone who's looking to buy or not buy? Looking, looking, looking at huskies, like as a pet. Huskies in general. Yeah, like what would you give them like good ag- advice before you get a, a husky? What should you know? Um, but they are like people like them, but like. Well, I guess it depends. They are a very high maintenance dog. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shutting out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The hair is no joke. I, I probably have tons of hair on me now. Like, yeah. I just, I, I go to work and I try to get all my hair off my scrubs, you know, because, like, I want to be clean. Yeah. But, like, sometimes I'm just like, it is what it is. There's a yeah. couple hairs on me. Um, you have to, like, sweep and, like, vacuum. You know, like, every, almost every day. Yeah. I mean, it'd probably look better if we did it every day, but. I mean, I do. Okay. <laughs> I do. It's just like I know. Just, it's to, they just they just shed that much. Especially, especially, me, especially me with two of them. Yeah, they shed a lot. Like, yeah, like we could brush them right now and make a whole another dog's worth of yeah. hair. So they they do shed. There's that. So if you're if you don't like that, I mean, probably don't want to look at getting a husky for yeah. sure. Um, I would say like if you're getting one from like a baby, um, is it's different baby versus like an already dog dog yeah um if you're getting a baby i would say make sure you run them a lot yeah Um, you have like a very strict routine with them at first so they yeah that's helped they know what they're gonna do every day um while they're you know like developing their personality and stuff Mm -hmm. uh because garris is very very laid back much more so than legion because he had like stability and stuff when he was a puppy yep um, but if you're getting one that's, like, already a dog, like, have a tall fence. Yeah. Have, you know, like, a blanket or something mm. to put over their cage, maybe. I don't know if that helps some dogs. That doesn't help our dogs, so we don't do it. But mm-hmm. um, there's just, like, so many things you have to think about. They do like to run. They will try to escape. Like, um, Legion <laughs> opens up doors yeah like we have like a screen door and if we like leave it open he will get out and like go downstairs by himself yeah where garris like won't walk through a door without a person yeah because we taught him that way yeah um so yeah definitely make sure um they have something to chew on that isn't your furniture yeah play you run them yeah get them exercise because they if they don't get exercise they 
they can get like restless and they they just need it yeah to just like be outside so like legitimately so like i make sure like at least like every day they're at least outside for like an hour right and i mean they do like to to dig so you gotta watch that but like Mm -hmm. yeah so like you know so if you live somewhere where you like you don't have a backyard you gotta make sure like you actually like take them for like walks and and stuff like that yeah um I feel like Legion's still, like, Legion's still, like, trying to walk him. He still wants to pull. Yeah. Even though my sister... But I think that's, like, a husky yeah, thing. because like there, there are different um, schools of thought about it, because I looked it up a lot, because some people say, don't put a harness on a husky. Like, it'll make them want to pull, because that's what they're bred for. Yeah. Some people say you can only walk a husky with a harness. Right. Because that's what they're used to. I don't know. We have harnesses for our dogs. Yeah, we have harnesses. We don't always walk we have, them with harnesses. Yeah, we have harnesses and leash. I feel like if we're going somewhere and we want them to be more secure, we put the harness on. Yeah. But we're like going like going for a quick walk, going to the backyard, we just put their uh, their normal leash on. Yeah. Um. But yeah, because actually, cause I remember when my sister came over and she like went and we went for a quick walk and she was walking, <laughs> uh, Garris and Garris Garris just like, kind of took off and she was like, "Whoa, he's going fast!" I'm like, "Yeah, like just hold on to him." Um. Yeah, I mean, but just like any other dog, you, you know, it takes them a minute to be trained to, like, walk. Um, but, like, huskies are one of those dogs. I know Australian Shepherds are, too, which it's I think it's funny that those are our two choices. That they're so smart that you have to, like, hold your ground when you're training them. Yeah. You can't, like, cave to their cuteness because you'll want to. But mm-hmm. they they will learn real fast how to play you. Yeah. So, yeah, like, you know, they are like very... incredibly intelligent. Yeah. Um, the one thing I will say though, like when I was training them, we trained them with like ice cubes. So like, it's a, it's, 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 it's a free treat, literally just ice cubes and they'll just eat that. Like yeah. to like get them like that positive reinforcement to be like, okay, cool. Like this is what we, you know, like something that's, that's a treat for us. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they're, they've honestly, they've been like great dogs. Um, oh, another thing I would say for people who are, um. Think about getting huskies. Yeah. Is uh so Legion has like a zinc deficiency. Oh yeah, I forgot. Which is like a big thing with Nordic breeds, which is what like huskies and malamutes and all those are. Um so he started to lose the hair around his eyes, the tips of his ears, yeah, around his like nose. Um, and we were kind of like freaking out. We were like, what the hell is going on? So we brought him to the vet and they showed us pictures and it was like textbook that. We're still going through vet stuff. We just had him see an internal medicine specialist to make sure it wasn't any like um, autoimmune disease or anything. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if that was necessary. I'm a nurse and they're like my babies. So like I'm down to, you know what I mean? Like if we're going to spend money on something, I'd rather it be about our dogs being healthy yeah make sure they're, that they're good um so he's getting better now uh we're gonna go to like a dog dermatologist just to make sure there's nothing else wrong um but yeah that's something i would definitely look for like if they start to lose hair anywhere definitely like ask your vet if it could be like a zinc deficiency because we do give him zinc supplements every day mm-hmm with his food and it does seem to be helping but he keeps getting like infections around his eyes and stuff and so we're trying to figure out what's going on um yeah so like just like with any like dog breed be ready to be committed and spend yeah. money if you need to and because you have that, to do right by your dogs yeah that's and if you do, if you won't dog. you don't deserve to have dogs so yeah honestly like they take care of, of your pets. right like they depend on you to keep them safe so the least you can do is keep them fucking safe yeah oh i'm starting to get heated <laughs> no <laughs> anyway is there anything else you think people should should know um we try to think i mean we have the cutest dogs on the planet yeah, I think our dogs, like, I know everyone says that, but I think our dogs are really cute. I they mean, are. most people, when they see them, they think they're cute. I know. We had somebody once, we were just walking them in front of our house, yeah. and they fucking stopped their car, like, got out, oh and went, God. oh, my God, can I pet your dogs? Like, like a complete stranger. They sure. weren't, I was like, oh, do you live around here? Like, because I figured they were, like, slowing down to go into a driveway. No, yeah. they just straight fucking stopped There's to like, pet our dogs. God, get you, yeah. They do get a lot of attention, I think, because they're just, yeah. you know, like, Oh, another thing about huskies is they don't really play like um, normal dogs. 
So, like, they do a lot of, like, neck biting and stuff, but it's, like, playful. It's not, like, hard. No one's yipping. Yeah. Um, so that's, like, something to look for if, um, if, like, you bring your husky to a dog park and it's not, like, exclusively, like, a husky yeah. group meetup or something. Just, like, make sure you're aware and make sure, like, other dog owners are aware that huskies play a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, always look for those like cues that another dog is getting upset with their behavior, but like huskies do play a little different. Yeah, for sure. But I feel like, but I feel like our dogs they they do get along with other dogs. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, they love other dogs. Yeah, which I know some people said they sometimes they won't, but I feel like our dogs like anytime they've met other dogs, they've honestly just been like. Really cool. Yeah, I remember that one time we, we brought them over and they were just like, they just walked in. Like, they literally, we <sighs> brought them over. Um, Somebody I went to nursing schools with, one of my friends, Um, and she had like four Weimreiners. Yeah. Or no, four, three Vishlas and one Vishla Weimreiner mix, I think. I don't big. know. Don't quote me. Yeah, definitely bigger than our dogs. <laughs> but big. but our was, dogs just walked in. They walked in like, hey guys. And there talk. was no like excite. Well, there was a little excitement, but they literally just walked in like they'd known these dogs yeah, their whole like, life. And they on? all just like hung out. Yeah. And it was great. Yeah. And like my our parents big. now have two miniature pinchers and like our dogs love the miniature pinchers. The miniature pinchers don't really love them because they're, like, they're a little scared. But <laughs> yeah, they're like, I don't know about these guys. <laughs> but like, yeah, they've yeah. always gotten along with our neighbor. Dogs. She had her dog. Um, yeah, over she at first. she trains um, service dogs. Yeah. So um, many. Yeah, I feel like they've shepherds. Yeah, stuff. I feel like they've gotten along pretty much with any mm-hmm. other dog. Um, Knock on wood. Thank goodness. Yeah, I know. So that's so that's been pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think. There was another point I wanted to say. I forgot what I was going to say. When hmm. your sister brought over her one oh, dog, they were yeah. They got along with him too. Yes, Charlie. yes. Um, but the other thing though is I will say is that huskies they are different. The fact of like, like I was saying with gares, like when it's time to like I wouldn't necessarily take them somewhere and like take them off of a leash. Yeah, no, they will run away. Yeah, you know I feel like leashes. I don't know. I just don't want to try it. Like, I just, I, I, I don't want to try it. Some people have had success and been able to, like, train their dog to, like, just mm-hmm. walk with them. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, though. I don't think it's worth the risk. I'm like, no, nah, I wouldn't do it because I don't want them to, to run away. Even, even That's if the reason thinking, we have a fenced in yard. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, like, when we take them out somewhere, we put a harness on them to make sure, like, they're more secure. Mm-hmm. Just because. Like, I know other dogs, other dog breeds, you can just, like, walk with them and, like, whatever. You don't need a leash. But, like, our dogs, I'm not going to try it. I wouldn't try it, but you know. <laughs> yeah. But as far as I mean, as far as anything else, though, like, yeah, as long as you like run them, make sure they get exercise and like, I don't know, they have the proper diet. They're mm-hmm. pretty good, though. Like yeah, like we said, they only were chewing like when they were like little puppies. Like once they, we've they've gotten out of that stage. Yeah. They, they have plenty of toys anymore. and stuff like that. Now they don't they don't chew, which not gonna whether they don't start again. But they don't they don't chew on anything. Yeah. Um, um, Legion will still try to grab food, though. Yeah, he's like, sneaky. Somehow he opened one of our cabinets. He didn't chew any of our Tupperware, but he did take some of it out. And I was like, why are you doing this? Yeah. He just likes to, um, I don't know, he likes to get into things. Yeah, he's very curious. Like He, he yeah. tried to go into like the, the, the bathroom and go into mm-hmm. like the bathtub. He loves to go in the bathtub. He loves to try to eat soap. He's just like, what's in there? I know. So you just gotta be careful. So like, yeah, like even like our, our bathroom, we have like a lock now just to make sure they can't get in, yeah. in there. Mm-hmm. Um, this is what I mean. Like you have to kind of adapt and like figure out like, okay, what are certain areas that like you don't want the dogs to get into because like, they, they can get hurt. Because they will. Yeah. Like we have a, um, like a, a padlock thing on our um, our sink oh, yeah. cabinets so they don't get into any of the cleaning chemicals or yeah. anything. Like, it's literally, like, baby-proofing. A yeah, house. Pretty, pretty much. So it's just, like, yeah, certain areas we have the the, babe, the tall baby gates. I don't mm-hmm. even know. Are these, are these even baby gates or are these, like, pet gates? I don't even know. No, these, these are, like, toddler gates. Yeah, these are, like, the tall, like, I don't know how tall you think they are. Like they're, like, f- to hear on me, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, so they're, like, pretty tall. Yeah, just make sure it's three and a half feet, maybe. Yeah, so the dogs can't get into like like we mm-hmm. let them in like the front room and stuff like that. But like when we're not actively with them, so they don't just get in here and start running around. Yeah, um, and eating things. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, overall, if I can say, I think huskies are great dogs. 
just like any any other dog, you gotta know the pros yeah. and cons and like really know if it's for you because yes, they're beautiful, they look great, but just make sure. But they sure. are a high maintenance dog. Yeah. So make sure you're ready to give the, them the attention, the training, the vetting that yeah. they need, or don't get one. Yes, you know, it's like don't treat your pets like shit. Yeah. That hurts my heart so bad. I would rescue every fucking dog if I could. Yeah. Cool. And I have before. I have just straight up been like, sorry, we have to rescue this dog. We'll yeah. figure it out. Yes. Well, <laughs> with that being said. Yes. This has been episode eight. Yes. The Mildly Interesting Podcast. Yes, it has. There will be links down below. The podcast is up on Spotify, iTunes, Google Cast, and some other like podcasting services. Links are down below. You can follow us. There's we will also have a link to Garris's Instagram. Yes. That will be down below as well. There's also links for the Facebook page, Twitter page, mm-hmm. Instagram page for the, yes. for the podcast. And our personal links are down below. And they are on the screen. Um, yeah. This has been episode number eight. Anything else you want to say? No, that's it. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, yeah, see you. Bye.